Greetings friends. It's safe to say that remote working has become the new norm for most workplaces, and it is essential for you to know how to upload and share files on Microsoft Teams for smoother collaboration on projects. It is a straightforward process that can be done using two approaches. Attach and share a file in a channel. Open Microsoft Teams. Select the Teams tab to open the required Teams channel. Under the Posts tab, click on New Conversation to open the message window. Click on the attachment icon and choose to send files from OneDrive, upload from the system, or browse through Teams and channels. You can choose the file from anywhere in your system and click on Open. You can write a message to send with the attachment and even mention a team member. Finally, select the Send option. Also, you can directly send a file to an individual. Go to the Chat tab and open the chat with the person concerned. Click on Attachments and repeat the same process. Upload and share files or folders with the File tab. Move to the Files tab. Click on Upload to add files, folder, or template. Choose the file or folder from your computer and select Upload. The folder will be uploaded shortly. Click on it and select the Share icon. Enter the name, group, or email of the users with which you want to share the uploaded folder. Or you can copy the link. Click on the link settings to open additional sharing settings. You can decide with whom to share the link, anyone, people in your organization, people with existing access, or people you choose. Further, choose whether they can edit or view the document under more settings. Finally, click on Apply. With these methods, you will be able to easily upload and then share the necessary files with the concerned individuals. However, considering the relevance of the data involved, you must make the most of Kernel Microsoft Teams migration. It is a professional utility that allows you to migrate the entire team's data smoothly between Microsoft 365 tenants without any trouble. Thank you for watching. For more details about the kernel software, click on the link given in the description box below. Have a great day.